Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Topic 1.5 is all about polynomials, multiplicity, degree, and even slash odd. This topic is actually very easy to understand. First, let's talk on zeros. Zeros of a function are whatever x equals when y equals zero. Zeros can also be called x-intercepts or roots. The thing about zeros is they can be real or imaginary. If a zero is actually shown on a graph, you know it's real. Some zeros need to be solved with the imaginary number i, which is equal to the square root of negative one. Any solution with i in it is imaginary. Another word for real zeros are linear factors, and another word for imaginary zeros is complex zeros. Now is the time I tell you some helpful tricks. The degree of a function is simply the highest value of exponent. So for example, the degree of this equation is 5. The way to calculate this from a table would be to calculate the successive differences from the x side until the numbers are all the same, and then calculate how many times you had to do the differences. Now whatever degree the equation has will also be how many zeros, either real or imaginary, a function has. So once again, using this problem, we would have 5 zeros. Another helpful thing to know is that if you have any solution in an equation that goes in the form a plus bi, then the conjugate a minus bi is also a zero. Moving on to graphs. Say you have an equation in intercept form. Here's another trick. Calculating the zeros is easy. Simply set each parenthesis equal to zero and solve each one. But then if you graph the zeros on the graph, how do you know how the line moves? Here's the trick I was talking about. Now we look at the exponent next to the parentheses. If the exponent is odd, then that zero is said to have odd multiplicity, and therefore the line on the graph would pass through it. If the exponent is even, the zero is said to have even multiplicity, and therefore the line will bounce off of the zero instead of going directly through it. Okay, final thing. A function is even if it satisfies the property f of negative x equals f of x, or if reflected across the y-axis, the graph looks the exact same. A function is odd if it satisfies the property f of negative x equals negative f of x, or if rotated across the origin 180 degrees, it remains looking the exact same. And that's it. On the screen now are practice questions you should be able to answer. Pause now. The work and answers are up now. See you in the next one.